So I'm back with another video. Uh, this one's a little bit timely. Uh, if you weren't aware, Fujifilm just released the upgraded firmware for the X-T1. Uh, the current camera, or the current body firmware is version 3.0. That was the one that basically brought the graphite silver options to the standard black model I have here, which was, you know, including... I think the most significant to me was the electronic shutter. And uh, I think the classic Chrome is probably my second most interesting or most interested uh, piece of that firmware update. There was a few others, including the uh, auto manual focus, I think they call it. It's a, 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 <clears throat> a plus M right here. You can see it on. And basically when you focus on something, once it's meets focus, you can manually override focus, which sort of like works like a clutch mechanism, if you will. It's kind of hard to see here because... I'm too close for this lens, but uh, sort of works like a clutch on a like a DSLR lens. Uh, anyway, that's version 3.0. Uh, the fault that a lot of folks had, including myself, that I found frustrating was when you had it in the hybrid shutter mode, which is basically electronic or man manual shutter plus electronic shutter. The flash doesn't work, so I'm going to mount up my LP 180 here, turn it on. So again, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go I'll just change this display here. You see the manual plus electronic shutter. And again, I'll go to the Q menu, you see it right down here. Even though I have this flash on, when I take a shot, you won't see it fire. Let me actually get the place that it can focus. So, nothing fired, no flash. If I change it back to purely manual, because obviously electronic, you wouldn't expect the, the, sh the flash to fire because it's sort of scanning down the image. But on manual shutter, the flash will actually work. I'll do this again. Hopefully you'll see the flash this time. I think you guys should have seen that. And you can tell with this image, it is totally blown out, obviously, you know, compared to the last one. So, you know, you'd be shooting along in manual shutter with no issue, but say you had uh, turned it on, say you're out in bright daylight and wanted to use, you know, wide open or something close to that, you set yourself to MS plus ES, you know, to get your electronic shutter of, you know, above one four thousandth, and then you came back to using your flash again, and you forgot you're going to go ahead and take a shot, and nothing happens, and you're going to wonder why your flash isn't firing. Uh, I find this annoying. I think uh, I read Zach Arias was probably complaining about it too, and I know some other known photographers were complaining. One of the features of this new, let me turn this off here, this new version 3.1 uh, firmware is it's supposed to fix that. So I'm going to include links in the description of this video as well as some screenshots of basically, you know, going to the website, obviously it's the Fujifilm website, and then downloading the file, and then I even have a screenshot for you that I'll kind of put up right now where I'm uh, showing, um, at least on my Mac, what it looks like when you move the little random, you know, firmware file to your SD card. You see, So you should basically format your card, so take whatever photos you have off of it, format the card, put it in your computer, put the single firmware file on just directly on the card, you know, in the, in the main root folder, I guess they would call it. Put it in the camera, and then this is where you got to check your firmware, and it's going to tell you if you're sort of eligible to upgrade. In order to check your firmware, you can do this anytime with any card. You don't have to have the card with the firmware. You just simply hold down back, or the display back button on the X-T1 or the back button on the other cameras. Turn it on while holding it down, and now it tells you, you know, this taste is telling me to ensure my battery is fully charged. And uh, it's telling me the body version and the lens version. Uh, the lens doesn't need an upgrade, but uh, the the body does. I'm going from version 3.0 to 3.1. Uh, normally, I just hit yes right now, but I'm actually going to be ca cautious of this. And I know this battery is not totally full, so I'm going to hit back to cancel. It's telling me to turn the camera off. And you'll see why I... Uh, even though this is a you know typical Fuji, and I'll compl this is the one you know one of the few complaints I have. This is a lie. It's telling me I have you know m you know more than a half battery. Right? It probably is going to die on me any moment now. Uh, 
it's just because that's what happens and you don't want it to happen during a firmware so I'm going to quickly shut this guy down take this battery out and through the magic of the internet I'm going to magically appear with a fresh battery and voila I have a fresh battery so this guy I'm going to set aside to charge him later open this guy back up throw in my new battery double check that it's charged it is shut it back off and do this all over again so again hold display back turn the camera on it's saying again body version 3.0 that's the current one i want to upgrade my firmware so i'm going to click ok for yes right here i'm going to pick body obviously and it sees that I want to go from 3.0 to 3.10, which is the firmware file on this card. You wouldn't have been able to get here <clears throat> if you didn't have a new firmware. I think it would give you some error message. So I'm going to hit OK. Again, it warns me you don't want to have a you know, battery dying or no battery. And when the power goes out while it's doing the firmware, because you'll probably like corrupt the camera or something along those lines. Uh, I just changed my battery. I'm good. And hit OK. And then you're going to slowly watch these bars fill uh you know word of caution don't turn the camera off uh, it tells you that obviously <laughs> don't take your battery out <laughs> typically these are pretty quick uh it sort of looks like it's slow because it's hung up on that single first dot what i've noticed with these in the past on mo multiple cameras not just the xt1 is it seems like once it starts to get moving it will finish faster uh, we'll see <clears throat> sort of live here how quickly it does it. It seems like it's moving a little bit quicker, but sometimes they go that, like that one. It seems like it's jumping along faster now. I'm not really sure if it's something to do with the read speed of the car. This is a pretty quick card, but uh, just kind of notice that it's generally pretty quick. The whole process, really, when you're not doing it for a camera here, just doing it on your own should take you like less than a minute once you have the file on your SD card. It's about done. It's going to finish and give me a message to shut the camera down. So firmware is completed. I have now 3.10. Turn the camera off. And turn it back on. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this for myself. You don't have to do this at this moment. I think you can already, already shoot photos, but since I've already updated the firmware, I'm going to format the card. So here is where the big difference is that I should be able to see. As you recall, when we were in manual, or sorry, yeah, mechanical shutter plus electronic shutter, the hybrid mode, and you can still see it confirmed there. When I shot before with a flash mounted, it did not fire. One of the features of this firmware is that they supposedly fixed that. So let's test it out. So again, I'm going to just focus over here. And it worked. So just like in a manual shutter mode, You know, you wouldn't, you knew it would work because it worked before. The hybrid mode works. I'm going to try electronic only, which should not work because it wouldn't make any sense. I'm just curious. Yep. So you, you didn't, you may have heard a little click, but obviously when you have an electronic shutter, it, it's silent and it didn't fire the flash as you saw. So again, back in manual or mechanical plus electronic shutter, I'm going to try to get this to actually focus because it's too close. This camera's struggling anyway here. So you guys just saw that. So that's to me like the big deal feature here. Uh, honestly, I updated to it purely for that feature. So I'm gonna double check and I'll, again, I'm posting a link in this, uh, in the video description below to the Fuji site. It will list out of the major, major features. So my, my need for this firmware was purely to stop getting kind of goofed by my camera where it wouldn't fire the flash on me and it would confuse me for like a half second because I'd already been warned about the problem. So it looks like Fuji listened, they fixed it and uh, you know, good job Fuji. Appreciate you guys constantly updating the firmware on these. And uh, hopefully this was uh, informative for everybody else. Thanks.